everybody, it's me Megan and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one of my favorites to film. It's an inside the dressing room and I went back to Target. So I did film one of these about two months ago and it was more of like the fall time, or sorry, now it's fall. It was more of summertime and it's actually where I found one of my favorite pants. So if you want to go check out that haul, you can click right up here and go watch that. I filmed this about a week ago or so. It was a very spur of the moment on a whim. Me and my boyfriend were out and we stopped by Target because he wanted to look at a few things. And I, of course, wanted to look at the clothes as always. So as we were looking at the clothes, I ended up having my camera actually with me. And I was like, can I actually film it inside the dressing room? I found a few pieces, not as much as I really wanted to there wasn't as much that was like really standing out to me I still wanted to film it anyways y'all it was so silent in the dressing room it was dead quiet it was noon on a wednesday and no one was there the walker kept the walker the worker kept walking by my dressing room like walking back and forth and my camera kept making like the ding ding whenever i like hit record and I was just so embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot, I can't speak. Like, you could literally drop a pen and you would hear it. Sit here and kind of voice over and talk through each piece, what I liked, what I didn't like, sizing, prices, and all of that. This was kind of last minute. I was actually wearing a t-shirt and I was wearing black and white striped pants and a sports bra so some of the tops look a little funky with my sports bra and my uh, black and white striped pants but really it's not that huge of a deal if you just kind of focus on the top itself and not as a outfit as a whole anyways besides the point i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of talk you through through each piece that i found that day that I found four sweaters and a shirt that I liked there wasn't really that much this first sweater I love the sleeves on it the big huge bulbous sleeves I liked the turtleneck it wasn't a huge turtleneck and it was actually pretty big every sweater that I got was the same size so either a double XL or 1x it was all the same I really like this sweater it was kind of cute I really loved the sleeves on it I liked the color of it, the kind of black and white and gray hues. I didn't like it with the pants I was wearing, so kind of ignore that. Not a huge turtleneck fan, but I am. Turtlenecks are kind of growing on me lately, I don't know. But I did like it, except I found that it was a little itchy. Like, the more I was wearing it, the more I noticed that it was itching me. I don't know if that's just me, but... It was super cute and I can definitely picture this on like a winter's day. Cozied up with some like ripped jeans. This is from a brand called Prolog and I got it for, it was $39.99 and a double XL. Um, I think $40 is a little bit pricey for an itchy sweater. I don't know. Some of these pieces were a little bit pricey to me, but Target is always a little bit pricier. This sweater, absolutely love it. This one compared to the other one is so much better in my opinion i love the color this is one of my absolute favorite fall colors to wear ever and it was a little bit cropped on me um i could pull it down but to me i don't know i like it more sitting on my waist than my hips texture of the sweater kind of reminds me of like what do they call it it's like that waffle i feel like it's called a waffle something it's something like that I liked how the sleeves went from like bigger to thinner but not like so drastic so it was, it was nice and thin on my wrist but around my upper arm it wasn't so tight it was still a little roomy. I had a mini mini turtleneck compared to the last sweater. This one was a lot smaller around the neck but I really love it. I feel like maybe these with this pants wouldn't be so bad. That one was definitely a lot softer than the first sweater that I tried on. And this again is by the same brand, Prologue. I got it in a double XL and this one was $29.99. Next sweater was super cool. I wanted to try this on because it was something different than all the other sweaters that I was looking at because the arms were sheer. I thought the aspect of the sheer sleeve was super cool because a lot of the other sweaters were just plain sweaters. But I did notice one problem is when the sheer met the regular sleeve right on my arm. Right there was a little 
it like indented into my arm as you can see you can kind of see it and it wasn't so uncomfortable but it was noticeable to where it was it would bother me if I bought this sweater I did love the sleeves though that's one thing I've noticed with all the sweaters all the sleeves are super unique and I think that might be really trendy this year is big sleeves big puffy sleeves and I'm super into it love that I do like how it went puffy on the sleeve again and gripped my wrist but again I just couldn't get over how when the two different fabrics met that seam was a little too tight for me which was a little shocking because this is actually a plus size brand Ava and Viv I got this in a 1x and it was $24.99 to me I thought that since this is a legit plus size brand that when the two different fabrics met you know that people who are plus size have bigger arms so why would they make that area thinner I just I don't understand that I did like the concept overall and it was soft except for that one seam I just couldn't get over it and that's just why I was not a huge fan the next is just kind of this plain simple t-shirt and you guys don't really see the color as much as it was it was definitely more of like a baby pink and it's kind of coming off a little bit more white I feel but the thing that was unique to me was the neckline had a little sheer panel on it. I thought that was cool. And again, with the arms, it was just a little too tight for me. It was not uncomfortable, but it, it was definitely noticeable. And the back was what really wanted me to try this on for you guys because the back was satin and it had like a cinching detail. And it wasn't uncomfortable at all. It was super soft and I do like that. This whole t-shirt was super soft and I really loved that about it. But again, the whole arm thing, I don't understand because this again is by Ava and Viv. And it was in a 1X as well and it was $19.99 and I just felt like maybe this was a little too pricey. For a t-shirt, yes, it was very soft, but I wouldn't pay $20 for something like that, my opinion. This sweater, love this sweater. If I could go back and buy it right now, I would. It is so soft. It was the softest sweater I had tried on that day. The pattern is so gorgeous to me with the blues and orange and, and the birds. I love that one. It looked so good. I love that. I just pictured that with a high-waisted ripped jean, maybe some mini booties. Looks adorable. Doing a little happy dance because I was just so excited about this sweater. I love the sleeves. The puffy sleeves and how it cinches again at the wrist. I find that as a trend that I've been seeing all throughout Target. And that's all I really looked for sweaters. Again, I could pull it down, but I feel like it just looks a little bit more flattering on me when I puff it up around my waist instead. I don't know. I was just absolutely in love with this sweater. I love it. I love the sleeves, the big sleeves, but it cinches at the wrist because I'm short. I have short arms. So to me, sleeves are always so long on me, but I loved that the fact that they were all cinch at the wrist and it wouldn't it wasn't a hassle and again this is by Avalyn Viv I got this again in a 1x and it was $27.99 if I would have bought some of the sweaters I would have bought two sweaters I would have bought the orange one the second orange one and the last one with the birds and the pretty patterns I might have to go back and get me some of those because that was only $28 and I would have worn the heck out of it if I bought it so I might go back and buy it I don't know I will try to find links for all the sweaters and shirts that I tried on today and I'll try to link them in the description box for you guys sorry if I was talking too fast watching the clips of the sweaters as I was trying to describe the sweater so sorry if my thoughts were a little jumbled if you guys like these type of videos want some more inside the dressing room give this a big thumbs up let me know I'm probably gonna film some more because I love these because I'm not able to buy as many clothes as I want to buy. I wish I could buy everything that I ever try on. Except for things that I don't like. For me, that's just not realistic. So, inside the dressing rooms are really fun for me. Because it is an aspect of a haul. I get to try on pieces of clothing for you. Tell you what works for me. What doesn't work for me. Yet, I don't have to buy them. So, I can still give you the aspect of a haul. But, it's inside the dressing room. And I really love that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so fun. I love filming inside the dressing rooms. 
Give this a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you guys want to see from me instead of just hauls and inside the dressing rooms. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!